This is Mitchell Martin of the Toronto Observer here in Pickering, Ontario at Kinsman Field. Now unfortunately, me and my classmates were not able to be in Florida this spring to cover the USF women's softball team, but we are still able to get some unique perspectives online. Here's Coach Santiago with more about facing Team USA. Yeah, I mean, anytime you play against the best team in the world, you know, you're gonna learn some lessons, you know? We, were, we had so much fun with it, but it, you know, it, it's just an amazing experience. And I'm glad we get to do three games of that. It's gonna be a great experience. It's gonna be awesome. Yep. Three games versus a top-notch team like the national squad not only gives the players a great opportunity, but also gives the coaches a good look at the roster. The opportunity to play against Team USA came thanks to coach Ken Erickson, who not only works with the University of South Florida, but also coaches the American national team. In previous years, the Tampa squad also played exhibition matches against Team Japan. The USF softball program has been a very successful one with 15 NCAA tournament appearances and an appearance in the 2012 Women's College World Series. Although the 2021 season has been a bit of a change of pace for USF with lots of new players joining the squad to replace those who have already graduated. Despite that, seniors like Brooke Hartman and Anna Marie Bruni are still competing and doing their best to pass all their knowledge to the freshmen. Star player Georgina Korak will be with the Bulls for another year. Having her around will be so beneficial to the team. All three matches against Team USA ended with defeat but there's no doubt the experience gained by each of the players will be invaluable towards their development. 